हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long term hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so student in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the 25th and uh, 26th and 27th of february this session will be very interesting all you have to do is pay attention and watch this video till the end and leave the rest all the teaching to me so let's start with today's current affairs first is who has released fln report what is fln fln stands for foundation literacy and numeracy that means in the early stages of the life of children the main focus should be teaching about the foundation of literacy and numeracy that means the main focus should be among the numbers and words teaching them how to learn those words or how to understand those words basically this fln program this fln program was launched for the children who are below the age of 10 years that means we can say for 3 to 9 years of age this fln program was launched or 3 to 8 years as it is a foundation so we can say for nep the stages that were launched that is 5 3 3 4 comes under this foundation stage so this is for the early childhood development of the student or children where they will be learning about the numbers and they will be learning about words so this second edition of this fln foundation literacy and numeracy report was released question asked here is that who has released this report so remember the chairman of economic advisory council to prime minister vivek debroy has recently released this fln report that was the second edition of this fln report that was recently released all right apart from this remember the report has been authored by amit kapoor chair of institute of competitiveness number uh, natalia chakma who is the researcher and at the institute for competitiveness and shaheen jutsi who is also a research manager at institute for competitiveness here this fln index here states were ranked on five five key parameters these five key parameters are the educational infrastructure access to education basic health and learning outcomes and governance and other 636 indicators were also there also if we talk about all these then remember punjab was at the top index while telangana was at the bottom on this particular index so coming back he was vivek debroy who has released the second edition of this foundation literacy and numeracy 
रिपोर्ट दैट इज फॉर द चिल्ड्रन बिलो टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एज और राइट एफ एल एंड फाउंडेशनल लिटरेसी एंड न्यूमरेसी रिपोर्ट दिस वॉज एट द कॉन्फ्रेंस द इंडिया डायलॉग विच वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज बाई इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस एंड यू एस एशिया टेक्नोलॉजी मैनेजमेंट सेंटर दैट वॉज एट स्टैंडफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट वॉज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थर्ड टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ फरवरी दिस इंडिकेटर इज फॉर द चिल्ड्रेन बिलो द एज ऑफ टेन ईयर्स और राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज विच स्टेट विल बी यूजिंग रोबोट्स फॉर क्लीनिंग मैन होल्स इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इफ यू रिमेंबर Recently, two robots were also added into the firefighting team of which state? They were added into the firefighting team of New Delhi. Now, robots will be used to clean manholes, and which is the state? It is your Kerala that became the first state in India that will be using robot technology for use or for cleaning manholes. All right. Apart from this, remember. it was your ministry of resources of kerala only who have launched a robotic scavenger and it was named bandicoot it was named bandy coot so apart from this if you remember in kerala they launched their own ott platform also this became the first state to launch their own ott platform it was c space all right in maharashtra electric vehicle डबल डेकर और यू कैन से इलेक्ट्रिक डबल डेकर बसेस विल बी लॉन्च एंड बिकेम द फर्स्ट डेट टू लॉन्च द इलेक्ट्रिक डबल इलेक्ट्रिक डबल डेकर बसेस एंड इन ओडिशा द फीफा वर्ल्ड कप वॉज हॉकी वर्ल्ड कप दैट इज योर एफ आई एच हॉकी वर्ल्ड कप वॉज हेल्ड रिसेंटली एंड हु वन इन दैट वर्ल्ड कप इट वॉज योर जर्मनी next here you can see kerala became the first state to use robotic scavengers to clean manholes and this was recently remember bandicoot was the name of the robotic scavenger that was launched in thissu district of kerala all right the bandicoot was launched under the guruyavar scavenger uh, sewerage project of the kerala water authority as a part of kerala government's 100 day action plan against sewerage next What is the unemployment rate for October to December? Tell me. So remember, from October till December twenty twenty two, the unemployment rate was seven point two percent, according to the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. There is a uh, arm of this only that is your NSO that tells about all the data for the same. So they have released the fifth edition. of the annual periodic labor force survey this was from july 2021 till june 2022 and it stated that the unemployment rate at 5 year low of 4.1% in 2122 and it was 4.2% in july 2022 july 20 june 2021 all right but if we talk about this only here you can see that the unemployment rate has dipped to 7.2% in the third quarter that is from october till december 2023 to 4.1% in july 2021 to june 2022 all right and this data was released by nso that is your national statistical office moving on to the next news that is NMCG that is your National Mission for Clean Ganga Executive Committee has approved nine projects that are worth twelve hundred seventy eight crore rupees for pollution abatement in Ganga Basin and Ghat development. So in order to clean the Ganga and the Ghats near it and to redevelop them, recently nine projects were approved by the National Mission for Clean Ganga Executive Committee and these projects are worth. Twelve hundred and seventy-eight crore rupees. All right, important. Next, here remember these nine projects were recently worth, as I just mentioned, twelve hundred seventy-eight crore rupees. They were recently approved during the forty-seventh executive meeting of the National Mission for Clean Ganga. And who is the chairmanship? Who is having the chairmanship of this? national mission for clean ganga or the director of general of national mission for clean ganga he will be g ashok 
Kumar. Then remember, out of these nine projects that were approved, seven of these projects are for reducing pollution in Ganga, and two projects are for Ghat development. Then here you can see, for example, in West Bengal, a project in West Bengal worth 123 crore rupees was approved for the creation of 13 millions of liters per day sewage treatment plant and 30 kiloliters per day decentralized STP at the Chakdaha municipal town. Then in Bihar, a similar project worth 94 crore rupees was established. In Maharashtra, a costing was around 511 crore and in UP the costing was around 2.84 approved for the Nageshwar Dham Ashwan Ghat in Fatehpur. Alright, so remember how many projects? 9 projects were 1278 crore, crore rupees were approved by National Mission for Cleaning, for cleaning and Redevelopment of the Ghats near Ganga. Moving on, next, next is our Union Minister V. Murli Dharan to launch new initiatives at NIT Calicut. I repeat, Minister of State for External Affairs and Parliamentary Affairs V. Murli Dharan has launched new projects at NIT Calicut. Alright, and remember these several initiatives are in the light of implementation of the new education policy. If you remember the first new education policy, it was in 1968 then in 1986, then in 2020, the new policy was launched. This 1986 policy was updated in 1992. All right. And in this new education policy, 5334 was given. That is foundation FPMS. That is foundational, preparatory, middles and secondary. So this is the stages how the student will be studying their future years. Here it was talked about how we should give practical education also to the student which is more beneficial to provide them experience as it will help in their cognition development. Alright, so coming back remember V. Murlidharan who is our Minister of State for External Affairs and Parliamentary Affairs visited NIT Calicut Kozikode in Kerala and he has launched several new initiatives in the light of NEP 2020. V. Murlidharan also released a brochure of the Center for Women's Welfare and Social Empowerment at NIT Kozik uh, Calicut and CWSE that is your uh, Center for Women's Welfare and Social Empowerment was established as an inclusive platform to assist women in developing their leadership, communication and entrepreneurship through workshops, training, programs, mentorship opportunities. Alright, moving on. Next. Next question is, MHA has approved the renaming of Aurangabad city to Dash. So remember, there is a little bit correction in this video. You can avoid this. The question is that Ministry of Home Affairs has recently approved renaming of Aurangabad and Osmanabad. Aurangabad and Osmanabad to what? So remember, Aurangabad city will be renamed to Chhatrapati Shambhaji Nagar. It will be renamed to Chhatrapati Shambhaji Nagar and Osmanabad. This will be named to Dhara Shiv. All right, very important appointment, friends. Uh, changing of the name, so do remember it was done by Ministry of Home Affairs. And remember, Aurangabad was renamed to Chhatrapati Shambhaji Nagar and Osmanabad was renamed to Dhara Shiv. Here you can see that it was your Ministry of Home Affairs that has approved the renaming of Aurangabad city as Chhatrapati Shambhaji Nagar and Osmanabad city as Dhara Shiv. These are in Maharashtra, remember also. Apart from this, remember, Aurangabad drives, uh, derives its name from Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb while Osmanabad was named for a 20th century ruler of the princely state of Hyderabad. But now they have been renamed to Aurangabad has been renamed to Chhatrapati Shambhaji Nagar who is related to Chhatrapati Shambhaji. All right, a Maratha king Chhatrapati Shivaji and second ruler of Maratha state. All right, moving on. Next, what is the rank of India in international IPR index? Tell me, what is the rank of India in IPR, International IPR Index? What is this IPR stands for? It is your Intellectual Property Rights. So, 
Tell me what is the rank of India in the International Intellectual Property Rights Index for 2023 and remember this was the 11th edition of this index that was released by United States Chamber of Commerce. So remember here the rank of India is what? India is uh, placed at 43 out of 55 countries. There is a correction here. Remember, if we are talking about this 43, right? This is for 2022. But if I talk about the year for 2023, as we are talking about this 11th edition, here the rank of India is 42. All right, correct this. The rank of India is 42 in the International Intellectual Property Index for the 11th edition, that is for 2022. And the rank in 2023 was 43 and now in year 2023 it is 42 all right then remember another thing that this intellectual property index this index was released by the global innovation policy center of the u.s chamber of commerce and this is closely monitored by the government of india all right, as we talk about this IP uh, intellectual property index, this 11th edition accesses the protection of intellectual property rights in 55 of the world's largest economies, which account for almost 90% of the global GDP. Also, this addresses issues ranging from patent and copyright laws to the ability to monetize IP assets and the ratification of international treaties. Moving on. Next, which country has signed a pact with International Solar Alliance to use solar power in their country? First of all, ISA, International Solar Alliance. This is a joint venture between India and France. This was launched in the year 2015. Where is the headquarter of this? This is in Gurugram, Haryana. And now remember, which country has signed a pact with International Solar Alliance so that they can enhance their use of solar energy in their country? country so the correct option here becomes is bangladesh apart from this remember adani group will also be supplying electricity to bangladesh so correct option here becomes bangladesh another thing you can remember this agreement is scheduled to take effect in december 2026 under which 12 truly mounted solar irrigation system of 2 kilowatt each will be there for the Bangladesh Rice Research Institute. 12 portable 2 kilowatt solar paddy threshers will also be provided to them. All right, as of now, in International Solar Alliance, there are a total of 123 nations that has established to enhance solar energy and solar technology deployment in their country. Who is the Director General of International Solar Alliance? Ajay Mathur. Ajay Mathur. Moving on, here you can see it is your International Solar Alliance for which Bangladesh government has signed an agreement to increase the use of solar energy in their country. Next, FATF, Financial Action Task Force, has recently suspended membership of which country? And this is a very shocking and latest news that you should remember for geopolitics that recently during the Russia and uh, Ukraine war, it was your Russia that was suspended from the FATF list and remember South Africa and Nigeria was added to the grey list. South Africa just remember it and I'll explain in a bit South Africa and Nigeria they were added to the grey list. Now what is this grey list? Grey list is released by FATF only and this grey list tells about terror financing. Terror financing that means the countries that are placed into the gray list of FATF it signifies that these lists are failing to combat money laundering and these countries are financing terrorism be it in any part of the world they are sending them money to the terrorists so that they can increase the terrorism so it was your South Africa and Nigeria who were put it into the gray list and recently it was your Russia that has been suspended or whose membership has been suspended from the FATF that is your financial action task 
फोर्स इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एफ ओनली रिमेंबर हु वॉज द प्रेजिडेंट हेयर द प्रेजिडेंट ही बिकेम द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू बी अपॉइंटेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट फ्रॉम सिंगापुर एंड ही इज टी राजा कुमार and all and he will retire in 2024 all right so remember fatf it is an internet intergovernmental organization that is established to combat money laundering and terror financing and the headquarter of this fatf is in paris france and if you remember in paris france only olympic games will be held for the year 2024 here you can see Russia has been suspended and Africa South Africa and Nigeria has been put on the grey list Next NSC indices launched India's first Nifty India municipal bond index Directly you can remember here from this friends that India's first ever municipal bond index namely Nifty India municipal bond index has been launched by NSC indices a subsidiary of National Stock Exchange it has a base date of january 1 2021 and a base value of 1000 rupees here you can see and it was launched at a securities exchange board of india workshop on municipal debt securities in bangalore karnataka and remember it is a subsidiary of nse it has base date of 1st of january 2021 and base value of 1000 rupees next next is pfrda what is this pfrda pensions fund regulatory and development authority they have reduced the waiting pen period for their nps that is your national pension system to 7 plus 2 days earlier it used to be 7t plus 4 days but now it has been reduced to t plus 2 days all right that means the time required for processing the partial withdrawal request has been reduced to Two days after the request, that is T plus two days. Earlier it used to be T plus four days. So this is the news that you have to remember. Next, next is Roscosmos. Roscosmos is the name of the space organization of Russia, and they have launched Soyuz MS twenty three spacecraft to bring back three astronauts stranded on International Space Station. So remember, question can be asked that which space, which country space organization has launched. a rocket or spacecraft to bring back three astronauts that are stranded on the international space station so the name of the organization is roscosmos country will be russia what is the name of the rocket that was used soyuz rocket was or soyuz spacecraft was launched to bring three astronauts back from international space station which are these three astronauts sergey propkev Dmitry Petlin and Frank Rubio these are the three astronauts that were stranded on international space station and Russia used their Soyuz MS 23 spacecraft to bring back three bring back these three astronauts to space if you remember Russia has also exited from 2024 the international space station that means they have exited international space station from 2024 next next remember former president pratibha patil's husband devi singh ran singh shekhawat has recently passed away in pune maharashtra at the age of 89 he was born in 1934 next if we talk about state news bihar cabinet has approved 50000 us dollar for developing fog alert system with us nc ar important news friends remember this that recently the bihar government has approved 50000 us dollar and these 50000 us dollar were approved for developing fog alert system with us nc ar important question and definitely it can be asked and you should definitely remember it all right and how much amount was used here 50000 us dollar and it was a fog alert system that was launched or that will be used this amount will be used for developing it using us nc ar and what is this unncar it is your united states national center for atmospheric research all right apart from this friends there are some important current affairs for example if i ask you about an appointment that basketball federation of india president basketball federation of india president dr k govind 
Raj is nominated to be the president of continental body that is FIBA of Asia. All right, G Govind Raj, the president of Basketball Federation of India, was unanimously nominated as the president of FIBA Asia. All right, it is a zone within the International Basket Federation. All right, highly important. It contains forty-four Asian FIBA federations, and he became the first Indian. to be known or to be elected as the fiba asia president so question can be asked who has been appointed as the fiba asia president and he became the first indian to be appointed for the post he will be dr k govind rajan next next remember first mca barge launched by indian navy this first mca barge launched by indian navy what is mca mca stands for missile come ammunition all right this was a mcm barge yard 75 that was launched recently at visakhapatnam andhra pradesh so remember where was this launched visakhapatnam andhra pradesh and if you remember andhra pradesh has selected visakhapatnam as the their new capital and remember being a part of make in india initiative of the government of india all major and auxiliary equipment systems of the mca barge was sourced from indigenous manufacturers and the barge was built with a service life of almost 30 years all right moving on next you can see that ola electric to set up the world's largest electric vehicle hub in tamil nadu worth 7614 crore rupees i repeat ola electric has recently stated that they will be setting up the world's largest electric vehicle hub in tamil nadu committing an investment of 7614 crore rupees in the presence of mk stalin the chief minister of tamil nadu all right here remember the setting up of this world's largest electric vehicle hub with an integrated two wheeler electric vehicle and lithium cell giga factories with a capacity of 20 gigawatt in tamil nadu all right very important if we talk about lithium where was your lithium found recently it was in jammu and kashmir so that's all for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision EAC PM that is Economic Advisory Council to Prime Minister Chairman Vivek Debroy has released the second edition of Foundation Literacy and Numeracy Report Kerala became the first state to use robotic scavengers to clean manholes unemployment rate dips to 7.2% in the third quarter of fiscal year 23 and 4.1% in two from July to June as per the NSO survey NMCG National Mission for Clean Ganga Executive Committee approved nine projects worth one thousand two hundred and seventy eight crore rupees for pollution abatement in Ganga Basin and Ghat development. Union Minister V Murli Dharan to launch new initiatives at NIT Calicut. Ministry of Home Affairs has approved renaming of Aurangabad and Osmanabad. International IPR Index 2023 here 11th edition was released and India has dropped to 43rd position in the US IPR index. Bangladesh government and International Solar Alliance has inked agreement to enhance usage of solar power in Bangladesh. Next is FATF has suspended Russia's membership over Ukraine war and added South Africa and Nigeria on the grey list. NSC has indices has launched India's first Nifty India Municipal Bond Index. PFRD has launched T plus two settlement for partial withdrawal of NPS. APEDA signed an MOU with Lulu Hypermarket for export of promotion of millets into the Gulf countries. Govind Rajar Kampredi became India's first nominated president of FIBA Asia. First MCA barge launched by Indian Navy. Roscosmos will be launching Soyuz MS spacecraft to bring three astronauts on from the International Space Station. Dev Singh Ran Singh Shekhawat, the husband of former President of India Pratibha Patel, has recently passed away. Bihar Cabinet has approved fifty thousand US dollar for developing fog alert system with US NCER. And Ola Electric will be setting up world's largest electric vehicle hub in Tamil Nadu with a contribution of seven thousand six hundred and fourteen crore rupees investment. So that's all for the current affairs for today. Now let's go for the revision part. 
फर्स्ट इज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइजेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्री शिकारी प्रहार दिस एक्सरसाइज वॉज हेल्ड इन बाय इंडियन आर्मी इट वॉज इन नॉर्थ बंगाल एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एक्सरसाइज दैट वॉज हेल्ड इन जनवरी देन वीर गार्डियन इट इज एन एयर एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड जापान इट वॉज हेल्ड इन जापान दीज आर द लोकेशन दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर देन ट्रोपैक्स बिटवीन कंडक्टेड बाय इंडियन नेवी इन द इंडियन ओशन पूर्वी आकाश एक्सरसाइज बाय इंडियन एयरफोर्स इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट प्रले बाय इंडियन एयरफोर्स इन द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया एम्फेक्स बाय इंडियन नेवी एक्सरसाइज साइक्लोन वन बाय इंडियन एंड इजिप्शियन आर्मी वरुणा ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट वरुणा नेवल एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड फ्रांस ऑल राइट सो दीज आर सम एक्सरसाइज यू कैन रिमेंबर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर असम गवर्नमेंट हैज कन्फर्ड विद द असम बैभव दैट इज द असम स्टेट सिविल एन अवार्ड एंड तपन साइकिया डॉक्टर तपन साइकिया वॉज ऑनर्ड विद दिस असम बैभव अवार्ड दैट इज द स्टेट हाइएस्ट सिविल एन अवार्ड नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ई वाई एंटरप्रनोर ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड वॉज प्रेजेंटेड टू सज्जन जिंदल फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू नेक्स्ट सी ए जी दैट इज कॉम्प्टर एंड ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया ग्रीस चंद्र मुर्मू सर हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटर ऑफ आई एल ओ दैट इज योर इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नेक्स्ट मरकम रिपोर्टेड स्टेटेड दैट इंडिया सोलर कैपेसिटी इंस्टॉलेशन हैज ग्रोन बाई ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट टू थर्टीन गीगा वॉट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दैट वॉज अर्लियर अराउंड टेन गीगा वॉट इन नेक्स्ट इज यूके यूके हैज ओवरटेकन इंडिया टू बिकम द वर्ल्ड सिक्स लार्जेस्ट बिगेस्ट स्टॉक मार्केट विद अ थ्री पॉइंट वन वन ट्रिलियन डॉलर मार्केट कैप एंड दिस कम्स आफ्टर द अडानी ग्रुप स्टॉक्स हैज फॉलन टू द लोएस्ट एंड ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी टू एटी परसेंट ऑफ ऑल द स्टॉक्स हैव फॉलन फ्रॉम द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट दे हैव अचीव सो दीज वर योर रिविजन फ्रेंड्स नाउ कम टू योर होमवर्क हु इज द मोस्ट जनरस पर्सन इन इंडिया एज पर द ह्यूरन रिपोर्ट नेक्स्ट Jaipur Airport is located at what location? And third, twenty second World Blockchain Summit was held in which location? So these are your three homework question today. I haven't given any options, so I will providing you from the next video, so you can adjust here and give me the answer directly. All right, of these three questions, I hope you have understood the assignment. All you have to do is now like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views on such session. If the sessions are interesting, I want to see maximum comments and maximum like so that I can know and get motivated that students are enjoying my videos. So that's all for the day, friends. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel. And if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue